break was approximately about like eight minutes. I'm was glad someone really? was keeping track. Oh, <laughs> anonymous crack is gone. <laughs> <laughs> so we were looking at the Google Docs spreadsheet, and someone just joined. No, don't give it. them context. Oh, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> so, so, someone named anonymous Kraken. No, Ron. Stop. Oh no, we don't need context. Okay, yeah. you guys just, just the have anonymous to laugh. Is gone. Laugh with us as if you understood. Just, it's, it's not an inside joke. You're definitely part of this. They had enough. They got enough. No, they got enough with Google Docs. No, see, it, Ryan, it, you can't explain too much because if anonymous Kraken is listening, they'll know, and that's all that they'll know. Point. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. They'll know. If you don't know what's going on, this isn't about you. Just carry don't on. Worry about just, it. Just, laugh. On. Just, just laugh. Just laugh. Just laugh. Yeah. Just pretend, pretend like we're you funny. Understood. Yeah. All right. So we have right. two more categories, right? Um, yeah. Most oh, franchise. Well, we have more than two <laughs> categories left, but many well, more yeah, two in this in this <laughs> section. All right. Um, we're gonna do most franchise potential, which is new this year, I believe, and then yep. best story. So. So most franchise yeah. potential. Yeah. Who wants to list all of these? Can we talk about what this I is can, first? This time. Yeah. Let's. Yeah. Let's explain word. the category. Yeah. So please. this was whose idea was this? Was this my idea? That wasn't my idea, was it? I think it was Joel's, but yes. I think Joel but had yes. a variation on this, and I might have changed the wording a little bit. Yeah, look, I think I don't <clears> think it was any single one's idea. I think it kind of came organically out of discussing the categories. Yes. So I think we're, we wanted to talk about we wanted to talk about new like IPs or whatever that yeah. came out. Yeah, yeah. That, that, it started yeah. as new, IP, new IP, IP, and then we changed yeah. it. Yeah. Well, the argument. Okay, so there was new IP, but we also didn't want to exclude games like Prey from the list because technically it's not oh yeah, new that's IP. right, or Mario that's or right. Mario Rabbids. Yeah, yeah, that's that's exactly. actually two existing IPs smashed yeah. together. Exactly. So, yes, <laughs> they're in a car accident. So we're we're talking about games specifically that seem like they could be a new series of games. Correct. Right. Yeah. Like games yeah. we'd like or to just... see games, either games we'd like to see like a bunch of sequels for, or just games where we'd like to see the setting of this game explored more. Yeah. Another so, check for this could maybe be best debut. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. best debut. I like that. Yeah. In so, some cases, best reboot. <laughs> Yeah. Just to be clear, we're not talking about the best game in this list. We're talking about the game that we'd like to see more of. Oh yeah, right. yeah. that's yeah. what okay. I think. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. Exactly. So, uh, I can I can read the. Go for it. Go ahead. All right. Uh, so we have Arms, Cuphead, For Honor, Hollow Knight, Horizon Zero Dawn, Mario Plus Rabbids, Prey, Snake Pass, Snipper Clips. Yuka Lele. <laughs> All right, so Joel needs like to I'm... continually read the rest of the lists. I kind of turned, I kinda turned was... into a fighting games announcer by the it end. Did. A little bit. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> so is there, anything, is there anything missing from the day one thing should would, be on the list? I would like to add Neo to the list. Neo? Okay. Okay, that's fair, yeah. Um, anything else that anyone's passionate about? Yeah, I, I, got, I got a series... <laughs> no, Ghost oh, Recon. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, it's, it's a joke. Here for sure, go straight on. I was sure he was going to say Doom. <laughs> I, I was, was pretty sure it's actually. Did we also put Persona Five on here. No. <laughs> no yeah, I mean that was. I mean, yeah, it was. It, it's been years since they made a Persona, right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I mean, I am looking forward to Persona Six in like twenty twenty five. Yeah, but who is like that? <laughs> so um i want to i just want to start out by saying um i actually think that the i want to see two of these games combined to become a franchise i think, oh I, think I think if you combine snake pass and arms you'd have something really special <laughs> <laughs> give the snake arms yes <laughs> really long stretchy arms oh god so not Let's only is it a platformer with with like original Snake Pass, but you're also in a boxing match with other players. <laughs> right. Okay. So happening. okay. So so okay. Here's my pitch. Here's my pitch. Oh, God. Okay. Let's hear it. Okay. So it's on the Switch, right? Um, you control the snake the way you do right now with the you know you hold the button for slithering or whatever, and then move back and forth. But you have the Joy Con separate, and if you like throw one forward, you throw a punch with your arms. Oh, I love nice. that. I like it. No sna- All right, snake arms. Snake arms. <laughs> uh, I want to. I think arm snake. Arm snake. <laughs> arm snake. All one word. Yep. Arm snake. Snarms. <laughs> Snarms. <laughs> All right. Ache. So I think that automatically just gets our honor honorary mention. Yeah. No, like, that needs to be on the <laughs> like, list, right? That that's that's honorary mention right there. 
Arm snake. All right, so there's nothing else <laughs> that people want to see added. Uh, no, uh, think I'll, nothing's I'll coming to mind. Me. I'll yeah. probably wake up in a cold sweat tonight, realizing I didn't give a damn <laughs> to do it. But <laughs> all right, wake up in a cold sweat. I love it. <laughs> uh. Um, so I'm gonna move on to things that we people want to get rid of, and my first vote is arms. <laughs> I agree. I'm actually totally um, fine with that. So here's the thing, like, I want to clarify that I want to see ARMS continue, like, Nintendo's been continually supporting it, and I'd love to see, like, the next generation of ARMS, what that's like. I think it's cool they're making it, I think it's cool it exists, and I think it should continue to exist. It will be called I, And I agree. <laughs> but, but, I, yeah, but if we're talking about the single one game we want to champion, I can't pick ARMS as that one. <laughs> yeah, I, no. Okay. I'm not interested in the gameplay of ARMS very much, to be honest. I, I think it's a sweet idea that is really appealing to fighting game fans. Yeah. I don't really like fighting games. So. Exactly. Well, also, I see ARMS <laughs> kind of doing the same thing for fighting games that um, Splatoon did for shooters. Yeah, where no, it's I offering totally an opportunity that. to get into it for people who are normally I, put off by yes. the genre. Yeah. Yep. It, is the, it is the Splatoon of fighting games. I totally agree with that, as Splatoon is the shooter, too. Yeah, uh, I I like that, yeah. and and I same <clears> reasons. <throat> I think I'd rather see almost any other of these games get a sequel before Arms, mm -hmm. or more. But I'd well, still the like thing to is, see an Arms. Since Arms sequel. is a like first party Nintendo developed property, it will it'll probably get a sequel with like no impact on any of these other games. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. <clears throat> um, in kind of the same well, not this is different. It's, I probably should have said this first. Yeah, I'd like to see Four Honor go as well. Okay, I highlight it because yeah, I, I want to say it, but I also didn't. Yeah. <laughs> I just not that, that I think. I just don't care about it. Like I, so I, I think feel Honor like I feel great. like I feel like they shouldn't have like reference the first three honors in the title. <laughs> because oh, I don't think yeah, anyone that's fair. Them. Yeah, I, I agree. <laughs> I agree. So no five honor for this screw. No, no five. Honor. No five honor. All right, everyone's okay with that though. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah mean, I mean, yeah. I'm not gonna fight you on it. It looked like a really fun game that I was actually excited for, but then it just it seems like it's P2P, it's, so then it's, it it's peer to peer, which kind of was the first thing that kind of ruined it for me. And apparently, so, it's just a buggy mess. Didn't, didn't I will, I will point out like the servers now. They might have. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I, after I will, their player base died <laughs> off. Yeah, I will point out that like not that it's impacted either ones we've gotten rid of so far, but just because the game that exists now isn't good that's not necessarily no. a reason to disqualify yeah. it. in fact it I might agree. be a reason to vote for it because uh, i see a game on here that i think deserves to be on the list that wasn't very good yeah well at the yep. same time I, I think these lists are supposed to be what we are passionate about specifically right yeah. right so right but that's, like that's I, the reason. I'm just, I, I mean i'm just gonna i'm just gonna say things. it ukulele is a good example of what i'm talking yeah. about because yeah. ukulele wasn't very good but it could be if they yeah I, do i agree they change it i agree know? but in the same sense, I could care less if they make a four on or two. Right? So. No, and it, yeah. like yeah, like I said, that wasn't necessarily a, a argument for for honor. More just, just pointing out that yeah, the, yeah, just because the game wasn't good doesn't mean we don't want to see more. Yeah. Yeah. Would it be weird for me to say that I almost want Super Mario Odyssey on this list <laughs> because I want there to be an Odyssey too? Um, I, I yes, don't think weird. it. I, I don't, don't agree that it should, but it's list. like something I wanted to say because. It's not. I think I mean, it's, it's not really a sequel, but it's also it's, a. I don't feel like there's already I don't a feel Mario like Odyssey, franchise. Yeah, I don't yeah, feel like Odyssey is Mario different Mario enough from previous. Yeah, no, for sure. I like, guess. I mean, I get what you're saying. Specific most franchise potential, yeah. yeah. I get what you're Mario's saying already... in the you want to see an Odyssey two in the same way. I want to see specifically got a Galaxy 2. an Odyssey two, yeah. right? I don't. But want to see like, I don't feel like Odyssey is different enough from any of the other 3D Mario games to be considered its own thing. The 3D platformers, yeah. Well, that Mario is already an established franchise, so that it's kind of weird. Like yeah. Mario plus Rabbids are two franchises, but they're, you can have more. <laughs> it's a new franchise. franchise. In their, yeah. Yeah. In their, in their combination, but, yeah. as a their the gameplay is unique for anything either of those franchises yeah. has done before. Like it, oh, it yeah. establishes its own identity in a way that yeah. Odyssey does not. No, I agree but, with that. But I Mario is already just Mario. To say that just because it's like I specifically yeah. want there to be an Odyssey too. <laughs> so, but yeah, I, I'm okay with it not belonging on this list as well. So, um. <sighs> What so, next? if we're talking about franchise, I want to. Can we define franchise real fast? I mean, I mean, I don't like, know that some of these games aren't a, really franchises; a series a of games. 
Yeah, like so, I don't know that there's a solid games. definition because you could argue. I think it's going to be an argument on a game by game basis because you could say I want a sequel to this game that plays like this game okay. better, or you could say I really like the like environment of this Whoa. game itself, and I'd love to see spin-offs of this yeah. game in well, other genres. Uh, I, I'll <clears> debate <throat> that because franchise implies that it's going to have the same name. I I don't know that a franchise necessarily has to play the same. I just I. No, no, it's it's gonna have the same name though. Like, oh yeah, no, the, the, there's I don't... not like a spinoff or anything, but it's okay. no, but like, time, but like, Mario Final Fantasy is, is a Final spin-off. Fantasy is a franchise, but Tactics is like a super spinoff of the main <sighs> series, and like, if you if like for instance, I really you really like the like, but it still has the Final Fantasy name, is what I'm saying. It's not made by well, someone yeah, no, else. I, well, yeah, no, I don't care about the name. Mm. Oh, that's that's what I thought you meant. I no, guess, no, I meant it doesn't have to play bad. the same. Like it doesn't have to be like, like I like. What if I want an RTS in the Cuphead universe? Okay, <laughs> so that sounds awesome. I, I, I interpreted <laughs> that sounds your, awesome. I, I interpreted your definition of spinoff differently. I so guess. are, are oh, we saying we're right. getting rid of Mario Rabbits right now? Then that was what I was just gonna say. Is that Mario is that Rabbits what you're trying to say? Because if I mean, Mario Rabbits is going, Prey better fucking go as well. <laughs> Because I'm kind of mad that Prey's on this list to begin with, but if Mario <laughs> Rabbits is going, Prey's fucking Matt just doesn't want to see Prey win anything. I mean, no, I that's not it. I wasn't making that's an argument. That's not it. Prey's a fucking reboot of a goddamn old game. How is that but a franchise? Prey is basically a spiritual successor to System Shock. It has nothing to do with the original Prey at all. Zero percent. That's yeah. Also, yeah, also Prey is the kind same of the fucking reason... IP. Prey is also kind of the reason why we named this the way we did, because we wanted to include, like, revivals of old IPs yeah. that have died. Okay. Yeah. So then Mario Rabbit stays in my book. I mean, I nobody was saying it would okay. go. I'm going to say it's going to go now because it fucking sucks and ra- the rabbits are <laughs> what? horrible. And no! Not be in anything, no! But... You, can, you can leave the goddamn podcast right now. <laughs> Mario <laughs> Rabbit should never have been made and God help me, they'll never make another one. Oh my God. I, can't I, think, they could, I think they very well could make another one. I, I hope they do. Oh my God. You just wrestled so many Jimmys. Right anyway, now, apparently, <laughs> um, I will accept a um, sequel that's called Mario plus Rabbids minus Rabbids. <laughs> <laughs> so Mario. All right, I mean, I... Ubisoft's gonna make it. So I mean, I, I want to see Mario plus Assassin's Creed as a sequel. Yeah, actually, it. yeah. No, let's <laughs> let's keep the Mario, Mario plus Rabbids style like thing, but it's always Mario plus some other franchise. Like just yeah, bringing South in Park. other franchises. Mario plus, plus Watchdogs. Oh Mario my god! Souls. <laughs> oh my yes. god! Mario plus South Park sounds ridiculous because the combat <laughs> could actually maybe work. In that. All right. Yeah, like um, uh, yeah, like just Tom Mario, Clancy's Mario, Mario. Yeah, like we can just call the franchise <laughs> Mario meets the Ubisoft universe. <laughs> oh god! So, getting back to on point a little bit. I vote we take snipper clips off. I could care less if they make another snipper clips game. Will I they? Think, I think they they, w- could. they will. I, okay, they definitely I think, will. I think they absolutely should, but I'm not going to fight hard to keep it on the list over the other stuff. But it's just going to be fun. It's not going to be amazing. It's Exactly. Uh, that's not it's, something I'm dying yeah. to get a sequel to. If it doesn't happen, okay, I don't care. Let me, yeah, let me put it this way. I think 1-2 Switch and snipper clips should both get a sequel in a new Mor- WarioWare game. Ooh, I like that. So are they going to call it three four switch then, or? Well, no, That'd they're going to call it WarioWare. Wario WarioWare Switch. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. So I just remove snipper clips. That's fine. I mean, I yeah. personally, I personally have a like number one pick. Like this is the absolute one that I want over everything else on this. Yeah, list. and I do too. I do too. And you're going to hate me for it. So <laughs> you're going to pick Mario Rat. That's a mistake. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay, so uh, next team I want to get rid of is Hollow Knight. <clears throat> sure. I don't I think mean, that'll happen. I think you're right. I I don't know if a sequel's gonna happen to that game. I don't right, know. No, if this it is needs a, this one. is a prediction. This is just what we want to see. <clears throat> yeah. Well, and sure. I I don't know if I want to see more of Hollow Knight. Maybe we also don't have the passion for this game that some other games we do. I probably, so. I mean right. I can't argue for it because I haven't played it. Neither, yeah, that's what I I think that's kind of the argument we're trying to make. All right. I think they're going to continue to support the game and add stuff to it like they have been. <clears throat> yeah, right. like I I think at this point like I, other than Mario plus Rabbids which I've spoken about, I want to see more from all these games. Like I think the studios that made these individual games shouldn't give them up. I yeah, I guess my thing with uh Hollow Knight is that I don't necessarily want a, a sequel to Hollow Knight. I want them to make another IP, right? I'm okay with Right, them but what if 
but what if like going back to my my thing about franchise and I'm to be the a, a proper sequel like what about another game set within the same like setting as Hollow Knight? Sure. That's just its own thing. Maybe. I like, just don't have the Like similar like to to, to use a concrete example universe. um Steam the Steam World series which Steam World Dig and Steam World Heist are nothing like each other but they've got yeah. a similar setting and like they tie into one another. And they're the mm-hmm. Steam World franchise. Right. <clears throat> Sure. I guess, yeah. I just don't have a lot of passion for Hollow Knight. I'm totally fine if they That's... do do more in it, and if they don't, I don't care. I I agree. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I apologize. I like, I like meow. <laughs> I don't know how to leave us alone, and it's the, the dog barking outside, and if I shut the door, it gets really hot in here, and I can't open the window because it's a dog barking outside, and it's driving me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> this is, uh, any listeners who've never recorded a podcast, this is just how it goes. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Welcome to our lives. Uh, all right, so we have a list of seven games here, uh, plus Arm Snake, uh, <laughs> Cuphead, yes. Horizon Zero Dawn, <laughs> Mario Rabbids, Neo, Prey, Snake Pass, and Ukulele. Um, I mean, we've already talked a lot about how we think there should be a Snake Pass too, like how that game has a really solid foundation for a much more developed game. All right, um, but um, I'm not all that passionate about the Snake Pass franchise. Yeah. I just think it's got. I just think it's got a really good sequel potential. For sure. Sure. No, I think that they definitely will do one. And I think it'll be really good, and I'll probably get it. Uh, but I okay. Let me don't... put it this way: I think they should make another one to convince me that it's a <coughs> series worth being a franchise. Yeah. Sure. No, I agree with that. Um, but I don't know that the potential is really something that I'm crazy about. Right. Yeah. That's that's kind of what I'm saying. Like I'm saying maybe that one should go. Sure. Okay. Yeah, I'm cool with getting a snake pass. All right. Um. So Ben, you want to make some some arguments for Neo? Uh, I'd I'd actually like that's... before okay. that, I'd like to say that I don't. I think Prey needs to leave. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, no. And here's why. And here's why. It's uh, every everything aside. The ending of Prey leaves mm-hmm. like in no way, shape, or form for a sequel. I will bet you money there'll be a well, sequel. Yeah, it did. How? So, I mean, uh, can I, can get, I do I get the deep spoilers for Prey? Can, yeah, can yeah, we can we spoil Prey? Right say spoilers because we're also moving on to best story after this, and there's going to be spoilers. So, Warning. okay, so I'm pretty sure, <laughs> yeah. like at the end of Prey, the world can be blown up. Well, is that an option? It, at at the end of Prey, it was all a dream. What? Yeah, you didn't. So no, I didn't part? finish the game because oh. <laughs> I had no ammo. First of all, I refused. <laughs> okay, to well, yeah, play the there game. you go. It it can definitely be a sequel because. <laughs> what? Also, like literally, like destroying. It, okay, the... it wasn't a dream. It was a simulation. Is what it was. Sure. Games so... have ended with apocalyptic endings before and still come back. And then have that's, that's true. Like, that's Look at Fallout. Have you heard of a prequel? <laughs> yeah. That's no, true. I get that. I, okay, never mind then. I guess I was completely wrong. Sorry to spoil the game for everyone for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get into God. it anyway next. So. Uh, I have no horse in the prey race. I I'd be fine taking it off. I fucking don't want prey on here. But I think that it probably will get a sequel, and At I'm interested. This point, in what they do I with really want to argue for it. Just <laughs> same here. it's 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 a goddamn reboot. I don't see how it's not so? already a franchise. So okay, see, so because here, there was one I'm gonna game, use Matt. I'm gonna use game. the example that um. Ron and I talked about a bit when we were discussing this franchise, which is Deus Ex Human Revolution. That yep. was a revival of the Deus Ex franchise, which had pretty much died after a really terrible entry. And it takes it in a somewhat different direction, but like it basically revived the franchise, and I wanted nothing more than more Deus Ex after Human Revolution. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, so then, so, so then so, I have a question. Why isn't Crash Bandicoot on this list? I'm, because it's nobody literally suggested a remake. it. Okay, I understand it's literally a remake, but isn't this because a precursor it's, for it's them already, making it's more crash games? It's already an established games? franchise, man. It's already yeah, an established but, franchise. At all, though. I'm not. I'm not it's, arguing the remake. No, I'm no, arguing. I, I'm arguing the point that they're going to make more crashes now because this crash did well. No, I'm right, gonna. Yeah, Matt, I'm gonna it's... say. I'm gonna say Crash Bandicoot absolutely deserves a nomination. And then I'm Thank gonna you. say. And then uh, I'm going to establish franchise, I guess. I guess my yeah, but, my interpretation of this. Okay, category when was the was last the... time they made a Crash Bandicoot game? Exactly. So if if he's Honestly, talking, about... they've continued to make them. They've all been garbage. Yeah. 
Well, the same thing that he said about Deus Ex, then. Like, no, because <laughs> Deus Ex had died as a franchise. Somebody else got the license and remade it. It was a different... But it was still a difference. franchise. It's still the same name. Kind of. Uh, like, this isn't a super well-defined category, called... but to me, to me, the difference is, um, like, the the nobody was making those games anymore. The license actually, like was just being sat on and somebody else bought it to make a new one. It's the same thing that happened to Fallout when Fallout 3 came out. Yeah. Um, so so it, this category, to me, I guess, is there isn't an uh, there isn't already uh, an established franchise with the game. Like, there's there's there could be one game, but that doesn't mean the okay. game is a franchise. Prey is not a franchise to me because there was only one. Prey 2 was canceled. <clears throat> if there would have been a Prey 2 already and they rebooted it, I could see your argument more. But it's okay. not a franchise. Also, so, right? it's, so it's honestly free... like if they had t- if you took take away the name of Prey, like this game is nothing at all. To I'm do not that. saying the only that, reason just... it's called Prey is because they decided to use an IP of a name that, of a game that they bought. I'm just for saying a completely that, different game. <laughs> I'm just saying that Prey Ready was an IP before. I'm just saying that's a, what I'm saying. It was a different. I'm not IP. saying that it's not. Yeah. I, I'm not saying that it's a remake of an OG Prey. I'm just saying it was already an IP. That's why I, I it think it was an IP. It was thrown I, away and it was brought back. It's kind of like tele. It's kind of like telecoms. Like those, um, AT and T. Like before the whole Ma Bell nonsense it was a completely different company, yeah. essentially from what A and T and T is now. Mm-hmm. Also, just to interrupt, there's now an anonymous dinosaur in the dock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that. <laughs> I think I was worried that if we, I was worried that if we mentioned it, it might like do something. It's like it's their evolving. vision. Yeah, their vision is based on us talking about it. <laughs> Their vision's based on sound. <laughs> no, specifically ego. Like we have to be talking about it. Oh, okay. Oh, um, I'm. So I mean, I'm okay with getting rid of prey. I don't. I, Joel's actually like hardcore saying we should keep it. I mean, I, I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying it belongs. Reasons. I'm saying it belongs on the list. I'm not saying that it deserves to win anything. Okay. Sure. Okay. So Ben, so is Neo. it staying on the list? <laughs> ben, let's I don't talk know. About Neo first. <laughs> I don't know if it's staying on the list. I'm very confused. <laughs> we'll we'll come back around. Okay. Is, is anyone going to vote for it? For what? For prey. Well, let's to keep it. It's like your one, two, or three. Personally, I see four games I want sequels before it. <laughs> it's not going to be in my top. So his, his answer was no. <laughs> yeah. So. I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> not we're, in a, we're in a bind here. I, I guess it would be in mind just because I don't really have that much stake in the other ones. So Sure. All right, we'll circle back around to it. Talk about Neo. Uh, the sole reason I put Neo on this list is because it's basically Dark Souls. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> All right. no, but... Sole reason? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, oh, nice. Well, a cheeky boy. I didn't even think of that. I'm upset. <laughs> I mean, you should be upset for a lot of reasons. That was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the idea of just demons running around in Japan and you have to go fight them and you're like in ancient Japan history, it's pretty great. Oh, okay. It's Yokai Watch. Yep, yeah, Yokai. Yokai Watch? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Um,. Okay. Yeah, I've heard really good things about Neo. I, I, I mean, like I said, I don't really like Souls type games that much because they're so difficult. Is Neo harder or easier? No, than it's Souls? easier. Than the Souls it's games. easier. Okay. I saw that they, they, it's like a completely new combat system compared to Souls too. Yeah, yeah they had the like, For Honor kind of system where they had the high, low, and mid stance. Yep. And I feel hmm. like they did it much better mm-hmm. than For Honor did. Well, For Honor was basically just rock paper scissors. So. Yeah. <laughs> There's also like a bunch of exploits. That's why people were shooting on For Honor too. Oh yeah, people found cheesy cheese methods, but yeah. Um, <clears throat> fuck. I don't know what we get rid of next. I mean, yeah, I don't know either. Um, honestly, I think personally, I want to get rid of Mario plus Rabbids, but ignoring that, I think Neo and Prey honestly are both the ones that have had the least amount of like defense for. I mean, I, mean, no I guess said I... anything bad about Neo at all yet. 
Well, no, but nobody's. I guess nobody's really talked about Cuphead or Horizon or yeah, we haven't mentioned those at all. No, no one. Horizon hasn't been so, brought up yet. Well, <laughs> I think I think that's because low key a bunch of us. Are, I think Horizon is a lock for top three. Personally. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I agree with that. I have a question, and this is just me not actually playing Cuphead. But what would they do for us, like more games in that? They would do more of the same. I think. I mean, and, and and here's the question. Here's another question. Would they actually do that? I think so. Okay. So I think I, there, I think Cuphead too. Yeah, I think um the the art style is a big enough draw that like they're definitely going to feel like doing something that's oh, at least yeah. stylistically similar. I don't know if it'll be set in the same like setting. I don't know if it'll be <clears throat> what you could consider a franchise, but I think they'll definitely continue making games like Cuphead. Yeah. The question is if it's going to take another five years for them to make it. <laughs> Almost certainly, yes, Probably. because hand-drawn animation exactly, yeah. is a hell of an order. Which is kind of what sucks about it. I would honestly be fine with taking Cuphead off. I guess. I'm yeah, okay like, with taking Cuphead off, I don't, too. So, like, and yeah, that kind of, my description of it kind of circles around. I don't know if it's going to be a franchise. Like, I want to see them make yeah. more hand-drawn animation. I don't know if I really want to see them make another Cuphead. Yeah, right. yeah. No, you, want totally the, you want the style of the game. Not, not yeah, they don't have to do like the '80s or the '70s style cartoon for the next 50s. one. They could do something. I'm, yeah, different. like I'm sorry, sorry, you're talking like '30s guys. Years, you guys are... years. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm a little, little young boy. <laughs> you're a little young boy. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm okay with getting Cuphead if you guys are. Yes. No. Yeah. Maybe so. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I don't. That's I don't, why I brought I it up. That's it's... why I brought it up. That's why. Yeah. I don't think Cuphead's top three. No. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we haven't mentioned I, uh, ukulele at all. Yeah, I want to hear somebody talk about ukulele. Uh, Ron, Ron, that's you. <laughs> yes, I'm the only one that. Am I the only one that played it? I never played it. Okay. Uh, ukulele is a bad game. Well, <laughs> sorry. Ukulele is a, a very mediocre game. Um, when I actually first started playing it, I was <clears throat> debating not finishing it because I was bored. Um, <laughs> I did end up finishing it because. It, I started to get a little bit pulled into it, and I was, it was really nice to play while I was watching other things on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I... So uh, you, you say that you... Joel, when you first brought it up, you mentioned that it could be... It's, it's an example of a bad game you want to see a sequel to. I don't I, necessarily think I want to see a sequel to it. Really? Would you, would you like to see them attempt to make a sequel and... and improve on ukulele so i think ukulele did exactly what it was supposed to do i just think that's not what people wanted they didn't realize that that's not what they wanted but i think that this is actually a perfect spiritual successor to the banjo kazooie games but I to be wouldn't... honest i don't like banjo tooie very much because yeah, no i this game I'm gonna... is a remake of banjo tooie it seems like or like i'm gonna movie. i'm gonna agree with you in that yeah i think i think they did a good job of recruiting banjo kazooie and banjo kazooie just isn't as good as people want to think it mm-hmm. is um, I think Banjo Kazooie is really good. I don't like Banjo Tooie. It's too open. That's what pisses me off about it. Like it's too, it's too like run around everywhere, explore, have to backtrack to every single level constantly because you get okay, a power up. Okay, Ron, Ron, what there. about this? Ukulele <clears throat> nuts and bolts. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> I think that if they name that the sequel, I will eat my words, and this gets number one. <laughs> <laughs> We will we will release a uh, <laughs> an, an addendum a uh, errata. There is the word I'm looking yep. for. Mm. But okay, I so don't I don't think if, a ukulele two is something I'm actually dying. If to the see. guy who was most excited for ukulele says he doesn't want it, I think that's a good reason to strike it. Sure, I yeah. kind of agree with that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was this was my I don't know if it was my number one. But it was one of my uh, most anticipated for this year, and it's not made anywhere near my top ten. So. I think a lot of people had a similar experience. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, <laughs> we what have we have games. left is we have Horizon, we have Mario, Rabbids, we have Neo, we have Prey. Yep. Remember when yeah. you said this category was going to go quick, and we're at thirty minutes already? <laughs> I never said that. <laughs> no, Chase. I, I, I saw oh. that. Yeah. Oh, 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 I can't never wait mind. to argue best story. It'll be fun. Anyway. Oh God. Um. <laughs> So, so should we talk about Horizon? We haven't said anything about it. Um, uh, I, Horizon's easily my lock for the one that for the game that I want to see a franchise out of. I want yep, them to make more yeah. Horizons so bad. I'm yeah, sure they will. And I, they 100% gonna be are a going sequel, to like 
Like it would be stupid not to. <laughs> in yeah, a yeah. in a less packed year, <clears throat> Horizon Zero Dawn would be a pretty easy argument for best game of the year. Like, oh yeah, easily. I agree. Yep. Like I that agree. game should have been talked about by everyone in the There's past. There's so month. many games that came out this year that could easily yeah. be number one. Yeah. That's what's so crazy. Yeah. <laughs> and Horizon right. is one of those. So. Um, are we okay with just locking Horizon? We can lock Horizon number, number one. one. Yeah, yeah, I don't think anyone's arguing against that, to be honest. Yeah, this was okay. what I was thinking was going to happen. So yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> damn it, Ron! <laughs> one, so one. locked into number one, it was one twice. <laughs> <laughs> one dot one. All right, uh, so now now we have to figure out what we want to do with, with the last. So let's thing. let's think about this. Who? So I think some there's people here that are passionate about Mario Rabbids. Yeah, probably so Matt and Ben. I mean, I'm also little, passionate little about myself. it, just with a negative. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think there's people passionate about Neo, including, like, oh, know, specifically Ben. Me. There's a person, <laughs> yeah. A person. Is anyone passionate about Prey? I, I, I guess I would be on that list. Yeah, you Chase, would be? Okay. Chase seems, yeah. Chase seems well, to be pretty annoying. Well, fuck me annoyed. the goat ass. That, was, that, was <laughs> not, that did not work the way I wanted it to. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if, if, if it's getting the le- least amount of votes, though, then... <clears throat> Whatever, but I guess what we're doing to me that voting? seemed like. Should we each vote on an elimination? Yeah, I think at this point, yeah, yeah we should say point. which one we want to eliminate. Okay, uh, I'll go first. Uh, I pick prey. Okay, I pick. I prey also, I also pick prey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, there you go. R.I.P. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we just gained up on Chase's game. Hold up. I mean... <laughs> fuck me, right? I mean, I'll vote I'll vote for Mario plus Rabbids. Yeah, that's I know you what, That's to. what my vote was going to be for, too. Oh, right. shit. Oh, well, man, do we, we want to talk about these two specifically? We could have eliminated now? it. Do we want to talk about alliance. Mario Rabbids and Prey? Hey, how do you guys feel about this? I like that. Because that got no votes for elimination. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I think that... Yeah, so, I think that's... So for the listeners, uh, Ron put Neo at number two because yeah, sorry. <laughs> I didn't honestly didn't say it. <laughs> Maybe you should have been recording your screen, Ron. Yeah, I was yeah. it might be kind of cool to watch the, the get to see all the, the spreadsheet. Dinosaurs coming. I mean, yeah. that would have devolved <laughs> pretty quickly now. into like me just typing nonsense into the <laughs> thing to mess with people. Well, we d- we wouldn't have had to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I kind of hate to do this, but I might switch my vote. What? I know. Yeah, really? I know. Okay, here's as the thing. much as you shit on. Wait, what? <laughs> because, because, <laughs> I'm so because confused. Here's the, thing. here's the thing. Here's the thing. This game isn't about what game I liked more, right? Correct. Yeah. It's, right. This is this is potential. what I want to see more of, and I yeah. loved Mario Rabbids, and I do want to see more of it. If they don't make another game, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> but <laughs> but wait, there's a but sir. The, but I actually think I'd like to see more of Prey, like Does just because I enjoyed it. Like enough to you, make man. me want to play another one, <laughs> what the but fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, the swerve! I, I love it. That's I, I, I can't stop laughing because Rod hates me. No, I want I want to see that more in that universe in the pre. So this is an example of that... you not liking a game but wanting to see them improve on it. Yeah, like, because I think, yeah, I think because there's... here's the thing, like. If now they make another Mario, not, if they either. if they make another Mario Rabbids, it's going to be exactly like Mario Rabbids. Yeah, that's true. Like it's not going to change much, and I lo- I'm going to love the game. I loved Mario Rabbids, but I just won't necessarily. But in all honesty, I think I'd be more excited for a, to see what they do do with Prey long term. Yeah, well, l- well, like I said, with the end of Prey, it's still totally an open story. They could completely make a different game because of the you- way they ended Prey. Yeah, they could do a different they game could, in the same universe. Right, they could also, like, Destiny 2 or Watch Dogs to it, where, like... Yeah, yeah that's true. It's, yeah, like, where well, it basically addresses a ton of the things the people who played the first one, like, complained well, about. I think Matt is one of the few people that has a major complaints with Prey, because Prey is sure. pretty... Yeah, no, Prey I don't like it. Right now. In, in all honesty, if Prey didn't have a giant ammo... Okay, I played... I just want to compare Prey to Evil Within 2 right now. <clears throat> I played Evil Within 2 on the hardest difficulty you could... And I got by fine with no ammo problems. I never had ammo in Prey. And that pissed me the fuck off. <laughs> and I couldn't finish it because of that. Weren't you supposed to kind of use more of your powers and all that kind of shit, though? With it? Prob- probably, but... <laughs> so, no, there's a, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a legit thing to talk about with sequels, though. Because like, that's something that's come out of other games, too. Where, like, you know, the game's trying to encourage you to play a certain way, but some people don't necessarily gravitate like towards that, that play style. Yeah. So they mm-hmm. make the sequel a little more accommodating to other play styles. Yeah. 
if they fix honestly if they fix that issue with prey like prey becomes one of my probably one of my favorite games this year yeah but i just got so mad at that game because i never had ammo and i was fucking Uh, punching things i don't even know if the melee is punching you have you you could have had telekinetic powers and like i did but i don't think electric powers and shit i'm I'm pretty sure you run out of that don't you Uh, i'm pretty sure it recharges it's been a while you can't run out of brain i'm sorry but the recharge obviously isn't fast enough when i'm running away from a giant ghost thing (laughs) that fucking destroying me spoilers a fucking ghost <laughs> thing that destroys me. Ghosts so, of, yeah. There are ghosts we in this spoiled the game, end, huh? and... We already talked about the ending. Yeah, <laughs> no, <that's laughs> and, whoa, spoilers at the ghost thing. I wanted to be surprised at that. Alright, so I just got rid of Mario Rabbids because I think there's a lot more hatred towards that game <laughs> in this group of people versus Prey where people are like, sure. So In a uh, in a weird turn of events, Prey yeah. got the number three spot. I was thinking Mario Rabbids was a lock, but you so, know, do goodbye. Do to put one, two, switch on there? <laughs> you mean, well, I mean, so we already know three, that one, one, and two. Like, this is technically <laughs> top three, That's four, and five. That's a given for every, every list. <laughs> one, two, switch had the best story, I think, of the year, actually. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we don't even have to discuss that. It's just... <laughs> don't, yeah. uh, I, right. I, one, one, two, switch this, sounds this like a children's here? story. Yeah. Are you, are you One switch, okay two switch. Red switch, blue switch. <laughs> oh my god. god. Damn it. Yes, I'm okay with that list. Alright, so we have a lock. Uh, most franchise potential. Number one, Horizon Zero Dawn. Clear. Like by a landslide. Like 90% yeah. of the yeah. votes go towards we, Horizon Zero Dawn. We didn't even <laughs> talk about it. That's how locked yeah. it was. Uh, yeah. And then number two, Neo. Number three, Prey. I would say these could almost be a tie. And, like it's, an honorable mention yeah. is Arm Snake. Arm Snake. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> because I want to see that game now. Yes. <laughs> Better right. load up Unity. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. So, next category is best story. Um, I guess I can. Through these. You want to chase? List. Yeah. <laughs> you can take half if you want, and I can take. It's a other long half. list. <laughs> I'll, I'll read through. It's fine. So, best story: we have Assassin's Creed Origins, Destiny Two, Divinity: Original Sin Two, Finding Paradise, Gravity Rush Two, Horizon Zero Dawn, Life is Strange: Before the Storm. Lone Echo, Middle Earth, Shadow of War, Near Automata, Neo, Persona 5, Prey, Pyre, Rhyme, South Park, The Fractured Butthole, The Evil Within 2, The Surge, The Walking Dead, A New Frontier, Uncharted, The Lost Legacy, What Remains of Edith Finch, Wolfenstein 2, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, and Zelda Breath of the Wild. That's too many games. Oh, that Jesus Christ. Games. This is going to be, this is gonna be <laughs> worse. I think the there's a lot that we experience. can very quickly eliminate. So, so remember, yep. this is story, not necessarily gameplay. Yeah, exactly. Which game gameplay 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 is, is awful. For example... Yeah, it's for example... Lead to... okay. Sorry. No. Go ahead, Joel. Uh, go ahead, Joel. Okay, that's going to lead me into my first suggestion for uh, elimination, elimination, which is Zelda Breath of the Wild. I, 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 I was going to say that, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 1,000% agree. Yep, <laughs> like, I was I, the worst that too. story ever. I actually have recorded a thing that hasn't been published yet, um, kind of going into the issues with that. It but was like, a mess story. Well, it, well, and the thing is, like, a lot of it's in the execution. Like, they started, <laughs> they did a really cool thing with Zora's Domain. Yeah, um, yeah. And yeah that it, was actually really cool. And then they just copied and pasted it for the other three. For the other three, yeah. yeah. Which, and... With diminishing results for each one, like they yeah. could, if they would have kept up that sort of thing, like they did with Zora's Domain for the rest of the like big set pieces in that game, it would have yeah. been something yeah. kind of special. But I was super glad I don't I did think Zora's Domain first because of that, because I feel like it would have been more worn down by the time I got to Zora's. Yeah, Domain. I don't yeah. think I don't think they I felt had like a the... checklist after that. Right, right. I don't yeah. think they had the development time to keep doing that. Is the biggest yeah. problem. But and that's they, what I hope that they do with the follow-up to Breath of the Wild. Like yeah, no, I think everyone's kind of on the same page that they need to Majora's Mask it. Like, take the same, take it the same game as a base, but make a really story-driven thing out of it. Yeah, for sure. Um, right. my next okay. kind of thing I wanted to lead is Lone Echo because I don't think any of us played it. I have not. I'm played sorry. That. Could you say that again? Nope. Lone Echo. Echo, 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 echo. Okay, echo, thank you. Echo. Oh, goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> I need to, like, just assume everything that Joel says is a pun of some kind. <laughs> just read Pro- it. Probably good, yeah. I'm okay with it. Yeah. Because nobody played it, and it's a VR game that I think only Matt and I could play, so. Yeah. Jesus Christ. So. um, What about Wolfenstein 2? Has anybody finished? It played and finished. I mean, I heard nope. that's the best part of... 
really that's the that's what I've heard. Story, is kind but of do one we, of the weakest parts? <laughs> it's do we know anything about so, the story? Okay, so well, no, so here uh, here's my understanding of it. Um, I don't think the overall like narrative of the game is that strong, but the character arc of BJ Blazkowicz specifically yeah. is very good. Yeah. I, that, really, that's what I heard was the weakest. Like everyone else was more interesting other than BJ. Like yeah, and getting into the, spoilers here, there's uh, there's a lot of segments like just like, it's best story so you should know. I think but, I think yeah. um I think there's it really depends. I think it really depends no, on what there's sort actually of only a... one scene with Hitler. It, I thought there was like two or three. No, oh, I'm pretty I sure. Played no, there's only one. I know there's the one where there he shoots the guy and there's the audition yep. thing. Yeah. That was all. I that's all. That's all I've seen from the game. Yeah. Did you play the whole full game? Yep, I beat okay. it. Oh, how's the story, Ben? It was not great. Okay, so Ben has Good. experience like, it, playing it was, the full yeah. game. It was a fun story, but I wasn't like engrossed in it in any way. Okay. I think it really depends on the lens you're looking at it through. Because I've read some very good character studies on the character of BJ um, from the mm -hmm. like from New Order through Wolfenstein 2 as a character. No, and I've heard some really good stuff about that too. Like the revival of him. After the first game and stuff, <laughs> that's really yeah, that was, interesting that was to watch. Neat. So Ben, when we when I asked if anybody had played Wolfenstein two, why didn't you say I played I Wolfenstein two? <laughs> I don't remember you asking. I don't. Remember oh, he I definitely did. did. <laughs> I definitely did. Maybe no, you guys. I'm sorry, I didn't even yeah. ask Ben. I'm deaf. Okay. <laughs> um. So are we get rid of it though. I'm okay with it. I, I, it's not in my top ten. No. Yeah. Okay. My okay. my. Uh, yep, that one. <laughs> <laughs> I, just as soon as he said oh, my, yeah. I'm like, I know what he's yep. going to say. I'm like, uh, <laughs> my, my nomination is, yeah, The Surge. The surge. the surge, yep. I think okay. you're the only one that actually played any of it, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, sure, and the story isn't really much there. Yeah, like, it's, it's just... not it's not super in-depth like like Dark Souls or anything like that, where there's a ton of lore. It's, it's Do you know anything about The Surge? No. It is a Souls-like game. But with the setting of like Elysium, have you ever seen the movie oh, Elysium? Oh, okay, no, yeah, I have, yeah. I have looked it up before. <clears throat> I, I did enjoy it much more than Dark Souls. I'll say that just because of the setting. Yeah, I really love the setting in that game. That's kind of hard, half the reason I was kind of interested in it. I might um, have to play it yeah. if it's like Dark Souls. Yeah, it's a Souls like so. <laughs> yeah, it's you. You would like it if you like Dark Souls. Yeah. So. <laughs> I'm. That's all. Like, I'm gonna buy that when I get home. <laughs> <laughs> I got it for my dad for Christmas actually. Um, so I'm gonna it... I'm gonna just say we can eliminate Xenoblade Chronicles two right now. Like the story in that's not great. Um, some of the characters are 100% garbage. Like that game indulges in the like worst anime tropes. Mm -hmm. I've played <laughs> like big, big boobies. I've big boobies. played yeah I've played over 100 hours of that game and pr approximately zero of those hours have been for the story. Okay, yeah. good. So it's all good. Because I, I wasn't in, impressed with the story to begin with. I, um, honestly, like, the original, none of the Xenoblades have had great stories. Um, the original one was ridiculous in the kinds of ways that I thought were fun. Like, that story yeah. goes some batshit places. And I kind of enjoyed a lot of the reveals in that, even though it also indulged in a bunch of really bad anime tropes. But this one is, <laughs> I feel gross them. playing it sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good to know. There's so many good games on this list. You felt gross uh, playing it. Jesus. Um, I have a nomination. Yeah, <clears throat> Destiny Two. Yeah, yeah I, I don't. I didn't argue. I don't I think play the I don't, game for the story. From personally. what I understand, the story's not terrible, but I don't think it's what's bringing people to the game. What story? Yeah, it was. No, it, there's a story. Right. Yeah. There's a story. It's, it's much so more of a boring though. <laughs> there's it wasn't that bad. To it. Uh, at <laughs> least, okay, okay. I will say this about Destiny Two. At least I knew what the fuck was happening when I was doing the missions, rather than Destiny One, where it was literally just go kill these things. That's all Destiny One was. Destiny One, from my understanding, was they had written a story and then didn't really do a good job of actually putting it in the game in a way that anyone could engage with. Exactly. Yeah. If anything, Destiny 2 could be on the list because of Nathan Fillion. Because of what? <laughs> Nathan Fillion. Oh. Well, yeah, I hear he's I mean, good he in it. Yeah. He, he, just, he had really good lines. Well, they had Peter Dinklage on the first game, too, and that didn't help it. <laughs> yeah, but Nathan Fillion's actually good. In fact, they replaced it, him. <laughs> Peter, Peter Dinklage didn't seem super interesting. He was in so being bored. In Destiny. <laughs> yeah. Um, and yet, yeah, that's, that's why I mean, like, Nathan Fillion's actually, like, he likes sci fi shit. I mean, we can wait to eliminate it. I just don't think... There, I think I, no, so I don't think we games. need to, because no, I'm looking over the list right now, and I'm seeing a bunch of yeah. stuff that definitely yeah, deserves to stay, stuff, yeah. and yeah. a handful of other games on this list already that probably should be eliminated. 
Yeah. We're just arguing that it didn't not have a story. Right. Sure. That's fine. So I'm, I'm a big Destiny 2 hater, so just don't well, just take we, what we I say and <laughs> agree with Sol. So I I think Joel is indicating that soul. we should take yeah. South Park, the fractured yep. but whole. And I'm 100 percent yeah. down for that. Okay, and like I'm well. I'm setting aside my personal like distaste with South Park as a thank God thing. we agree on something because <laughs> I fucking hated it. I didn't hate the game, but it was not like good. South Park was bad. This one was bad. I have not been like I'm pretty over South Park overall but like especially the show lately i have just been completely done with their whole everything and this seemed like it was it years and this seemed like it was like the worst of their tendencies all crammed into one game. i think the show is actually better than it's ever been personally but i uh i didn't like the game at all it felt like they were adding a lot of jokes in that were repetitive um and jokes very for the sake stupid. of jokes like so many fart jokes i'm so sick of it yeah like what am i 12 <laughs> The, yeah, it like, leans, yes. it leans way too South hard. Park like, was I think one of tongue, yeah. right. I think one of South Park's worst uh, tendencies in general is their idea of like because something is shocking or offensive that makes it funny or makes funny. it worth saying. And I think yeah. the ship has long since sailed on them being able to get away with that. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So I'm done with getting rid of it. I didn't even like the game that much either. It was just not that fun. <clears throat> It was a bummer, because I was looking forward to it. Um, on a kind of a similar note of, it's not necessarily that it doesn't have a story, but that what the story was doing was bad, um, Middle Earth Shadow of War. Yeah. There's yeah. some really, really bad subtext in the combination of the story they try to tell in the gameplay. Um, mm-hmm. I'm not going to try and uh, represent people who have said this much better than I have, but there's some good articles you can find out there about um, that unpack the um, sort of the the subtext unintended probably subtext of giving the orcs a bunch of personality and then treating them like brutal monsters that you slay slay or enslave oh sure like it's pretty fucked up and it um unfortunately echoes uh, a lot of attitudes that real life slavers have promoted Mm, yeah damn we're getting deep here (laughs) yeah i think we could just remove it yeah that's okay i don't know if i can argue that because that's a little bit (laughs) i i didn't think the story was that good anyway so yeah no and yeah that's the thing like they could have said something interesting with that juxtaposition and they didn't oh yeah they with with how much they added to it they really could have done some deep stuff with it like made made the orcs have like more of a personality and have some dark themes to it but nope they did not Um, I'm okay with getting rid of Gravity Rush too. I have no idea what that game is. Well, so you even have stories? What? I've never played it either. <laughs> never played Gravity Rush. Story. Yeah, it's it's primarily a story based oh. game. Oh, yep. Um, it's really good. It expands on the first game more, but I think the most fun part of the Gravity Rush games are the gameplay. Um, the story itself is oh, I don't know. It's very Japanese. Maybe that's that's racist to say. I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I don't not, know not really, but I, I just don't identify a lot sorry, with I, that kind of stuff. Sorry, I tuned out for a sec. What game were we playing? Gravity Rush Two. I... We're not playing anything. <laughs> we're not playing the game. Oh, that's not <laughs> that's not how this works. I thought, we, I thought we played through the games. We talked about them, so we could understand. <laughs> yeah, that's I, I exactly. Why. I thought I was behind. No, okay. Um, so I have not played Gravity Rush Two. I can't really speak for it. I don't even yeah, know much about it. I really like. I really like the Gravity Rush games. They're they're supremely underrated. I wish more people would play them. Um, I just I just played them this year, by the way. So I just played the first and the second this year. So you're not a long suffering Gravity Rush. Fan. So I'm not like a, a dying to for everyone, yeah. But I, I really enjoyed the first one so much that I decided to purchase the second one pretty early after it came out. But the story um, really wasn't anything terribly special. The story goes on a little bit too long too. I probably okay. put thirty plus hours in Gravity Rush too. And that's a little bit long because the first game was about eight to ten hours. So, sure. Um, no, that's yeah, that's that's fair. I can. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I just didn't. I didn't. I didn't absolutely love it. But the gameplay is really fun, so I'm okay to get rid of it. Mostly because yeah. I'm the only supporter too. So. Right. Well, yeah. So good game, not fair. necessarily the mo- the best story of the year. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, I have to ask: Is Life is Strange Before the Storm is episodic, right? Yep, yeah, yep, yep. it's done. Are all the episodes out? Yes, except for the uh, bonus episode. Yeah, the bonus max episode. Okay, which but is the story, just, but the story yeah. has been completed. Yes. Yep. Okay. Um, 
You've played that too, right? Yeah. We can I would still leave it. it on here. Yeah, I Okay, no, that's 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 fine. I'm I don't have opinions about it. I was just making sure cuz if it hadn't yeah. been completed, I wasn't going to say it should be. I'll just quickly it. say I thought Life is Strange Before the Storm was probably going to suck. It was really good. It's it it had it was all it was set up for failure. All the voice that the voice actors were gone. The a different studio made it. <laughs> Also, it was a prequel to a game. And it's a prequel. It was a prequel a specifically to a game where, like, that was very definitive and where yep. they kind of told you the backstory that you needed already. Like, mm-hmm. it's ex- I, I, I think it's, it's cool that it's exploring this relationship, and I know some people for whom it was a pretty important game. Oh, yeah. But and I also does... think that it accompanies the first game so well. Like, right. going back and playing the first game now, I can imagine it would be heart-wrenching after playing Before the Storm. Oh, yeah. Just I... because you now have syntax to the relationship between Chloe and Rachel. You mean context. Context. Did I say syntax? Yeah, I said you did, which I'm trying to puzzle Damn out what that means. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Context. Um, I mean, I... Uh, caveat when discussing this game, I... um don't feel real great about them using scab labor for the first couple episodes of it when the voice actor strike was going on that fucking sucks um Mm. they did bring ashley birch on i think for like the last they're doing it for the the bonus episode okay which which is which is cool but like that's it doesn't really affect the story in any way but it's just something i kind of want to mention because i have a big problem with that right sure yeah, I don't, I don't know anything about that stuff, I guess, so. <laughs> um, I mean, we can leave it on for now. Yeah, I, don't, I think uh, so. All right, so is there any so games, games left on here that just don't deserve to be on here? I mean, I would like Anyone? to eliminate Persona 5 without any discussion because no, I'm still... Be, let, Ron, let me finish. <laughs> that was that bad, was, was bad. bad. I say boo. <laughs> ben, sorry, what, whatever. Um, Let me finish. Because whatever. I am uh, only maybe, like... 20% of the way through the game, and I don't want to hear anyone talking about it. <laughs> I, I okay. won't spoil anything. <laughs> I haven't played it at all, and I'm planning on playing it, so I, I know what you mean. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to spoil Nier either, because I know Matt is going to play I definitely want to play Nier. Anyway, yes. And Nier so, also so about... deserves to be on this list, for sure. I think Nier is in my top three, absolutely. Yeah, like, no, I think it absolutely deserves I'm it. I'm budging on that. <laughs> all right. So, so what about Origins? Um, mm. I, I mean, is there I much hear... of a story there. So, yeah, I, my under... I actually just finished it a couple days ago. My um. understanding of Assassin's Creed Origins from a story perspective is, it deserves to be near the top of the list for best story in an Assassin's Creed game. Yeah, but no, I agree with that. I think he's I the just... most Bayek is the most likable character they've made since the original couple. Like, yeah, I think it's a, I think it's fantastic. Uh... <clears throat> Um, Assassin's Creed game. I just don't know if it's going to stand up to the rest of the contenders in this category of story. Either, and I'm okay with getting rid of it because of that. It's a fantastic Assassin's Creed game, though. If you're interested in that, I'll not talk too much about it. Um, so there's there's probably a bunch of games we can still get rid of. I mean, we have to. But oh, why have I not talked about this? Get rid of the Walking <laughs> Dead. <laughs> yeah, okay. it wasn't. That, is this is the good. worst Walking Dead game they made. It may be the worst Telltale game they've made so far. Oh, really? Wow. <laughs> I probably agree with that. I, I feel like the Walking Dead games have been diminishing returns for a while. Oh, like, yeah. Two wasn't as good as one, and I think one Walking Dead 1 was maybe the last Walking Dead piece of media I really cared about. Yeah. But, yeah, Walking Dead Season 1, oh my god, that's so good. Yeah, no, that's a, that's an all-time, like, <laughs> that's one of my best maybe. stories told in video games, I think. Yeah, definitely. Uh, but three is, for the most part, uneventful. Um, the character's not like insanely likable. No, I wasn't invested in any of them. But Clementine, and you don't even get to control her. Yeah, and my my understanding is my my understanding is even <clears throat> with Clementine, you're more invested in her because of the previous two games and not because exactly. of what this game is doing, which is not yeah. great. And I'm interested in the final episode. I'll play it just to see what happens because that's coming out this year as well. Um, and I assume we'll return to Clementine. And... See what happens with that. Another Telltale game we didn't put on here was Guardians of the Galaxy. I haven't played it. Does you don't need to write it down? I was just going to strike it from the list if you did write it down. <laughs> I was going to say. I, I mean, Telltale has had just bad games lately. In general. Not bad, but just like not, not great. There, they have they not. They have not been anywhere their near their which is their heights. Terrifies me about Wolf Among Us season two. I yeah. need that game season. to be good so bad. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> 
I'm super worried it's going to be bad. But we'll I'm really hoping that they've been kind of spinning their wheels while they're working on a new engine and whatnot, and yeah. that they're going to come back with a big resurgence. I hope so. And I hope the final episode of Walking Dead is good, too. But we'll see. Um, I say that we get rid of Rhyme next. Okay. Uh, what's your reason? Uh, <laughs> that was a pun. It's really good. It's short. Thank you. But the, the main <laughs> gameplay... He still doesn't get it. No. Nope. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'm just gonna. I'm done. I'm just gonna sleep. <laughs> Podcast run, over. Run Thanks, folks. Uh, uh, no, it's short. There's a really emotional part at the end of the game that made me tear up, but the main gameplay loop is pretty straightforward. It's just a platformer, 3D platformer kind of game. So we need to point but out this, this the category story. is best story. Gameplay doesn't yeah, really so matter. If it made you it. cry, then. Yeah, I know, but it's it's more of like a, a tear jerking. It, I think most of the, so. I don't know if I want <laughs> to spoil just... it too much. Oh, okay. Right, I don't know sure. If you guys, do you guys care? I don't, I don't know if you care. If you I would to, say right? I would like in theory, it's a game I'd check out, but I don't see myself actually ever taking the time to do it. Sure. Well, so it's in your okay, Ron. In your opinion, does it deser- deserve to be on this list? No. All then right. I think we take it off. Like, it's, not, it's, not it. it's not that it's a bad. It's not that it's a bad story. Just it's not as good as a complete Somebody story as the it's rest. It's not of as complete as a package. It's a very okay. good little. So in that case, but... so what about Neo? Does that actually have a story, or it does, or, but... or is it just the setting that's? It's more the setting, right? Because yeah, like I wouldn't like. Yeah, because like I would say, if it's anything like Dark Souls, like Dark Souls has really fascinating settings, but the oh, yeah. story and... of the game as you play through it isn't much. No, Neo's just a civil war, and one side's trying to use demons. So, okay, it's, it's pretty straightforward, actually. Sure, we finally getting rid of it then. Yep, yeah, let's do it. Okay, I'm trying, I'm trying so, to do this quick. So finally, um. <laughs> I know that Ron is going to hate me when I say this, but I want to hear why he thinks Pyre should be on the list right now. I don't. Okay, let's oh. get rid of it then. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, I, I, I thought... No, <clears throat> I really like Pyre. I think the story is actually pretty great. The way the way that they tell it, in terms of letting you pick and choose who you want to get rid of and who you want yeah. to join the resolution, revolution, whether, the fact that you can completely fail by fa- win, losing every yeah. match and still progress the game... I think that's really unique in the way that they tell it. But... I, yeah. I think they tell the story well. I think it's a perfectly fine story. Um, great setting, great characters, but it's all just kind of those things, and yeah. there's nothing, you don't nothing feel really like uniting them into connection. a... Right, yeah, it's not, a, it's not <clears throat> united into this really cohesive package. Yeah, exactly. And I like the way that they did the ending, too, with the, like hovering over every character and seeing what happened with them and stuff. I, I will say, just as kind of a sidebar, um, every other game out there please take note of the hovering over key information to get a tooltip explaining more mechanic yeah yes. oh Ab- that was like, so awesome from a, from a storytelling oh perspective absolutely do more of that because it's basically like metroid prime scans without having to do a separate menu oh i love when you were talking to the little imp and you could hover over and see what he was trying and to see say. what he's saying yep. that was the best yep. <laughs> so um, a really cool storytelling Tizo. technique Tizo, yeah. like best story gameplay absolutely pyre but i agree yeah it, but not the best overall story. Yeah, all right. I agree with that. I don't... No, so I can't speak to some of the other games, but I guess if Ron wants to start eliminating other things too, he can go for it. I'm just like thinking and highlighting stuff. Yeah, Ron has you know complete okay. power here. He can just throw whatever he wants <laughs> yeah. away. Anyway, um, I kind of think Evil Within 2 should not be on this list right now. Uh, not, uh, I'm not, no, it's a good uh, story, but... Sorry, go for it, Joel. Uh, I, I was going to say, I agree with you, because Evil Within 2 is an improvement on the Evil Within in pretty much every single way. Oh, yeah. Um, and it is actually a really good, like, Sorry. survival horror, sort of Silent Hill-esque type yes. story. Like, it's 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 good for that genre, and I think it does it well. I just don't <clears> think it's... I think that's a grading on a curve, is the thing. I don't... Yeah. yeah. I don't it's know if there's a survival amazing. horror game out there where I think it has the best story. No, hey, I agree. Just very Silent quickly Hill here. Two, though. Silent Hill oh. Two tells a really tells a story well. I just don't think the story it's telling is that good. Fair. Okay. I just really want to quickly mention: Do we need Resident Evil Seven on this list? Um, um, I think it deserves a shout out. I don't think it would have made it this far. Yeah, I, I can agree with that. 
It, it was a great story. Ben's the only one that played it, I think. So it was, yeah. I've I've seen a full LP. Like I'm, I know the story. Yeah, I watched um, the playthrough of it too. So it's. I, the fact I think that I it is. A... What it means. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that's more due to when it came out, man. Yeah. yeah. Um. When no, was that, I think like February. Well, I actually only played it just last month. Oh, January. and I still yeah. forgot about it. <laughs> no, I think it's. I think it's Rip. a good. I think it's one of the better stories Resident Evil franchise has had. Um, it's a I, great return to form too. I loved. I loved that it was this sort of intimate look, almost like it was about these the specific characters you were encountering and how this incident had affected them directly. And mm-hmm. I love getting into this light spoilers that the um, what I would consider the overarching villain of the story um, was in like best Resident Evil form completely outside of the supernatural bullshit and just kind of an asshole on his own taking advantage of some like shit and he didn't know how to die he just kept coming back oh no no I'm not talking about that character <laughs> oh okay never mind I don't um, I don't I don't oh no, I'm uh, Lucas then, yeah it gets into big spoilers if he says anymore <laughs> yeah but yeah cool. um I oh, yeah, yeah no I, I like that story I think it was a good story I just don't <clears> think it's gonna beat out most of the rest of this list sure okay yeah. Um. So man. All right. Yeah, I was just gonna say, Ron. I don't think we can. So the story. Bring that up too. The story is honestly so far not that bad. I just yeah. we're ten hours into a sixty-hour game. No, a hundred-hour game. We're thirty hours into a hundred-hour game. We're thirty hours into a ten a uh, hundred-hour game. So I it's mean, hard that's for us Act to say. One, right? Of like a if it's yeah. a three-act structure. <laughs> and yeah. the Act One was good. We but... beat Act One, and we're like like a fourth through Act Two now. Yeah. Act so, 2 and Act I, 3 can totally ruin it, though, is the thing. Yeah, it, we, don't, we have this no game, idea yet. Yeah, this game definitely has the potential to continue on in this list, but since we haven't played it, I think we just yeah. get rid of it. Yeah. It's crazy because we put 32 hours into it, and we still have no <laughs> idea about the story. <laughs> I mean, yeah. that's that's that style of Western RPG, though. Yeah. The yeah. gameplay, though, which we can talk more about at another point, um, is fantastic. So I love that game. I'm anyway. loving it. Um, yeah. So, Ron kind of already talked about Finding Paradise, right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I talked in depth about why it's good. But... I mean, it's it's almost, like, if the story's not good, it's not good, right? Like, the story's got to be what it's driving it. That's all it is, right? It's yeah. the story. I don't know if you guys have, I know, maybe, Joel, have you played To the Moon, Joel? Uh, I started it. I have not gotten super far into it. It's four hours long, man. <laughs> <laughs> um... I think I bought it for Chase and Matt, so maybe they'll play it yes, someday. Yes, I have probably, not played it yet. Never. Probably never. <laughs> uh, no, I'll play it soon. All right, it's, so, it's really good. It's emotional as hell. Like I sobbed at the end of this game compared to like the other games. It's extremely deep. So, so I mean, yeah, if so, it's deep and like emotional, <laughs> like that's pretty strong recommendation for it. Oh yeah, yeah. I've, I haven't felt more connected, I think, to a game than Finding Paradise this year. So. So can I make a suggestion on what we do next here? Sure. Um, I don't know how many games we have. Like nine games left. We have eight. Are are some of these games significantly better than other games, and we should just go that route? Like, what's yeah. our top three? And then I just think say yeah, it. I think if everyone kind of says what they'd pick as top three, we can kind of so just that we don't have to break down this huge. List, so, so so I'm gonna go through the list right now that we have, so everyone knows what we have left, and then. We can do that. So, best story, we've eliminated a bunch, but so far we have Finding Paradise, Horizon Zero Dawn, Life is Strange Before the Storm, Near Autonoma, Persona 5, Prey, Uncharted The Lost Legacy, and What Remains of Edith Finch. Okay. Alright. Yeah. So, should we give our top three? I feel like everyone's top three is going to be a little bit different. If yeah, like, vote, we don't have to, we don't have to, we don't have to rank them here, just... What are the top three? We'll mark okay. who votes for which ones, and then we can eliminate stuff that didn't get votes. Yeah, let's okay. put a tally next yeah. to every. Every if once you, if you say it, just, just put a, tally a vote, next not like one, two, three, just like a vote. yeah, just a, just a, just a tick. Mark. Yeah. yeah. All right. Who wants to go first? Just dashing. Um, so I really can only dash. I can really only vote for two because they're the only two I have enough familiarity with to speak on. Okay. And that's gonna be Horizon Zero Dawn and Nier Automata. Okay. Are we putting? If somebody, if like, if I also say Horizon Zero Dawn yeah. in your time, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. amount of, totally amount of votes is definitely okay. going to factor in. All right, sounds good. Are we still doing three? Or are we doing two then? Oh, we should do three, right? Yeah, do we three. Should, I just didn't have three. a third. <laughs> I could speak for. Sure. 
you pick one, I guess. I, I wouldn't feel right about that. No, just just say Persona. You'll you'll agree once you finish. <laughs> I so far I don't. I would not. Say, it's not a bad story, but it's not standing out to me oh. as anything special. All right, I'll That's go next. Persona, be, boy. I'll go next because I'm kind of in the same boat as Joel. As I there's only two I've actually played on here. Um, so I'll go Horizon Zero Dawn and Prey, even though I didn't think Prey was an amazing story. But Dude, you can, just sound like a Prey lover now. <laughs> I was say, you're like the biggest right. you have been Prey voting advocator for a lot. at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, otherwise then I'm just going to say Game of the Year 2017, Prey. Prey. Right here. Oh, like, otherwise, if I... Honestly, I could just say Horizon Zero Dawn. Like... Yeah. But I think Chase is going to say Prey anyway, so well, it doesn't matter. I, from what yeah. I've seen yeah, of Prey, know, though, it I definitely haven't... tells the story in an interesting way. Like, I like what it does yeah. with telling a story. Yeah. Honestly, the story is the only reason I considered finishing as much as I did. See, that's so... actually a, that's actually a pretty good mark in its favor. Like, the story was strong yeah. enough for you to power through stuff you didn't like. Like, no ammo. Which like is the no only ammo. thing I didn't like about the game. <laughs> but... right. um, Chase, you want to go? Uh, Sure. So I haven't played any of these. <laughs> oh boy! Um, have you seen but them play? I've seen Prey. Um, you guys have talked about Near and Horizon a ton, so sure. I guess those are my three votes. Sorry, I'll it wrong. And I think I God think that is wrong. I think that is kind of a fair assessment because like we're talking about the best story and like if a bunch of people are talking about how good the story is in a game, it's clearly yeah. impactful. Yeah. Yep. Um I'm voting Finding Paradise. Um I'm voting near. And so I don't think Horizon was anywhere near as amazing as people think think it is, but I think uh I almost want to vote for a game I haven't played over a game that I have. That's well, we're, better, if you can justify it. We don't. Based, we're not going to people's opinions. I don't know. We're not going to rank them from these tallies. We're just doing this to eliminate one. I mean, we tally. might end up being able to. Like, if one yeah. game yeah. has a ton of votes, like that's very clear. But number so far, one. I just don't want Horizon to not, win automatically because of this. It's no, we're, we're not going to just. I'm not going to just let that happen personally. Um, in terms of stories. You've got I, two I can't, I can't. I can't vote for Persona Five. I want to vote for Persona Five, but I haven't played it at all. I know nothing about it. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna do Edith Finch. All right. So you guys can guess my three. Persona Five, Horizon, yep. Persona yep. Five, Persona Five. Yep. Well, I got them all. <laughs> all right. So that means that means that Life is Strange before the storm can be eliminated because nobody said it. Yep. yep. Uncharted. And Uncharted yeah. Lost Legacy can also be done. And that's yeah. kind of kind yep. of what I was hoping was we'd have at least a couple that nobody was willing that to we can knock out. out. Yeah, I'm totally cool with that. So okay. now I think it comes down to like Ron's kind of explained why Finding Paradise and what Reigns of Edith Finch deserve to be on the list. Mm-hmm. Um. Why does Persona I, I, if 5... If I had to get rid of one of them, I'd get rid of Edith Finch, by the way. Okay, just, just which so you know. maybe we should do, because I don't know. Yeah, I don't know that it's going to have the support to keep I don't. Yeah, those, I don't think the list so. can support both of them. Yeah, that's, okay. that's why I'm saying that, because yep. I expected one of them to leave. <laughs> so I guess Prey and Persona 5 need to be argued Debated. for. Because yeah. <laughs> it seems pretty obvious that Horizon Zero Dawn and Nier Automata are going to be on the list. I think those somewhere. are two, for sure. So, so yeah. we're kind of arguing number three at this point. I kind of agree. Um, so, uh, the reason I'd say Prey, and I've already said this, Prey stays on, and that's not saying that it needs to stay on, I'm just saying that I only played it as much as I did because of the story. And that's the only, that's all I can say about the story, to be honest. Because I apparently didn't even, well I didn't finish it, so I don't know You didn't finish it, so. But, it wasn't, it wasn't bad by any means, it was pretty good. It kept me playing. But that, I'm that, that, it could be way worse than all the other stories. It definitely is worse than Horizon Zero Dawn's story. So, I don't know about the others. We could get rid of it, and I would not be upset. I wouldn't either, so I, personally. So. But Chase... so, I know nothing of Persona 5, I guess, is my... Yeah, I ca- I would, I'd like to hear Benji. Ben talk about <laughs> Persona 5. I don't even know, like, how much I can say without being too spoiler-heavy. You can okay. give the overall, like, premise. Like, what uh, is that... You play as a one. You play as one kid, and you're suddenly transported into this other dimension, basically, where you have power to change people's hearts and get them to be better people. 
So it sounds it's, ridiculous. So it's, it's extremely it, Japanese. It's, it's a Japanese game for sure. <laughs> it is definitely a Japanese game. But it sounds like something that could be very story heavy and oh, it's, pretty good. I mean, it's almost entirely story it's heavy. The actual story. the, the <laughs> yeah. gameplay is pretty uh, basic. Yeah. Well, so yeah, it's, it's turn based combat. It's it's hard to compare because right now we're trying to compare a game that. Ben has played in a game that I have played and a I have game no that Ron way. has played <laughs> and a game that I have played. Yeah. yeah. I have no way of comparing them, but <clears throat> honestly, I'm okay with getting rid of Prey. I don't know what Chase thinks. The Chase is the other X next to Prey. So Yeah. I don't I don't have much skin in the game, so Yeah, do you think it has one of the best stories of the year? No, not necessarily. And I'm willing to bet I'm honestly willing to bet that Persona five and Finding Paradise both have better stories. So probably. Mm-hmm. Okay, I think we could get rid of it then. Yeah, that's... Okay. okay. So, this is down to me and Ben both championing. Yeah. <laughs> well, games. I mean, at this point, do we want to vote? Because it's between two. Like, maybe I won't just say which one they... Pre- on them. Yeah. Or sort of our spiels on them. I guess I don't know how right. in-depth I want to get with a lot and, of them. And is this, something that, is this something that we just give a tie to third place and say Finding Paradise and Persona 5? I mean, we could maybe do that, because it's kind of... Most of us are just kind of voting blindly. Yeah, because you're blo- voting yeah, without kind of. actual information. You're just voting based yeah. on our... And then, unless you and Ben really want to get into it. And I, I know you're looking I mean, at each other right now. If he can't argue for Finding Paradise, he, yeah, I this, can't argue this, for Persona yeah, this, exactly. this, er, this I can't segment, say why the other one's better than the other, because we don't yeah, know information. Yeah. And here's the thing. This segment's gone for over an hour already. I think. Yeah, this is going yeah. very long, so... <laughs> All right, so uh, three is definitely just Persona Five and Finding Paradise. Okay, can... so now I have to yep. debate between Horizon Zero Dawn Horizon and Nier Automata, and, Nier. and it's so overwhelming Nier, in my opinion. <laughs> all right, I, I I'd like I I haven't played Nier. I'm willing to bet that Nier probably has the better story, but I would just like to say that Horizon Zero's Dawn story goes past the actual story of the game. It's also about building the backstory to what happened to the world. And yeah, that's why, like, and I think it's extremely interesting, and they do it in extremely well, well, Ray, um, with like the hollow points, basically, is what they are, right? I mm-hmm. think in the game, and the, it's completely optional. You don't even have to think about it. But I enjoyed the crap out of those hollow points. So and I'll I, give this, I'll give this to Horizon. Games like this normally have very mediocre to bad stories. Yeah. When they're open world games like this, it's really hard to tell a story well in this kind of world. I feel like a lot of games have failed miserably right. at it right um, like despite zelda. having really fun yeah like zelda despite having really fun gameplay um and horizon did re- a really good job of keeping me engrossed in the story um regardless of what was happening in the game so so <clears throat> so i think I think, the, I think i think trying to rank these two is tough i think they but both near is groundbreaking i feel like so. i think they both do <laughs> I think they both do amazingly in the story department. Um, I know somebody who, um, for whom, like, Alloy is, like, the best character of the decade, basically. Um, cool. And, Alloy. like, the <laughs> story like, has... Sheena. Well, no, and the story is just, like, has really touched no, people. The, this time. <laughs> um, the story was really good. I liked the story. I would say that... I don't think it was groundbreaking. I, I think it was good, though. It I was good. Think, I don't think you're going to find a whole lot of stories that you can call groundbreaking or that, that and some of the ones that you can find are necessarily good. Dig too. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. I, God damn it, Ron. <laughs> I I will say that two of my complaints about Horizon are kind of story based, um, and I don't know how much I want to spoil. But first of all, my first complaint about Horizon is the fucking character models are terrible and it takes away from the story of the, it's it's like playing skyrim and stuff like that right yeah it's so bad the animation is awful it's so bad i mean and it and, it, and it, it, it has nothing to do with the story but if they would have been better it would have added so much more to the game i think i think there is an argument to be made for the, for the art affecting it in that like it's a visual storytelling medium right so your ability yeah. to emote and express mm-hmm. elements of the story visually is an important aspect. And if they failed yeah. on that part, that is a worthy criticism. And that's why yeah. I think cutscenes are really important in games sometimes because they yes. actually help you to see that stuff a lot better. And that's what yeah. the thing is. Yep. Yeah, yeah. engines. Well. Yeah, the in-game engines aren't <clears throat> always capable of that in the same way that a pre-rendered scene right. could. Yeah, exactly. Yep. And then my second complaint, and I'll try not to spoil anything, but basically something happens early in the game, and then like. Alloy just basically never even mentions it again. 
<laughs> and it I mean, kind of best story we can talk about unless someone else. I mean, I I think Joel's seen a playthrough, right? I have not seen a playthrough. I've heard oh, a lot of people talk mind. about it, and I want to play it at some point. Okay, okay. Never mind. So if I I don't need to spoil it then, but that if Ron or I know what you're talking about. Okay, so that like is kind of weird to me. There's and that, a big plot hole. The owner dies. Yeah, like there's kind of. It's not really a plot yeah. hole. It's just weird that this thing it's happens. A, right. Yeah. And I mean, then just, and then nothing and stems so. from it. Like, right, yeah, an extraneous like story detail or something that, that yeah, should have led to something and didn't. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's a that's a critic that's a valid criticism, I think. And, but this is all on a, in my it's opinion, a really good story. So in in the end, it's still <laughs> it a really good story, but there's definitely holes. It's in it, the difference so. between a nine and a ten. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know if you're okay. I, I guess I'm you're okay with. I'm I'm, I'm trying to say that I'm okay with Horizon being. Number I'm two. kind of getting the feeling that Nier is. The, number, the one. number one for this group. I mean, me and Ben have both played Horizon and Nier, and I think we both agree that Nier is better. Well, and I think I that. think if you ask a lot of people who played both of these, they would have a hard time choosing. Oh. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. All right. So, best story. Um, actually, this is the end of the right. This is yeah, the end of the is section. The end of it. We so. We did uh, most franchise potential first, and we did number one, Horizon Zero Dawn, number two, Neo, number three, Prey, and honorable mention was, of course, Arm Snake. Arm Snake. Which, Game of the Year 20, 2018. I'm calling it now. Which, which Joel better get, like, a finder's fee or something for that amazing idea. Oh, yeah. No, I want royalties. Um, yeah, he wants royalties. Um, and then we did Best He's Story, licensed, right? which is we just finished, and uh, number one, Near Autonoma. Number two, Horizon Zero Dawn. Number three, we tied because there's not really any way to tell them apart or to debate them. Persona Tell 5 them. and Finding Identical Paris. games. Like, you heard it Identical games. The same thing. <laughs> They're the same thing. Very They're different. Exactly. <laughs> Persona Paradise, 5 just tells hours. the same story as Finding Paradise in like 500 yeah, hours. times <laughs> the length. <laughs> I love it. Um, but yeah. All right. So right, that's so it. Time for a little little breaky. Stories have been amazing this year. Uh, yeah, I think yep. we're ready for break. Uh, we'll come back. We'll have biggest surprise and biggest dip- disappointment. I think we'll do best multiplayer with it as well. Yep. We'll yeah. do the three in a row. So okay. yeah, uh, this is do it. So All right. Uh, <laughs> bye. Goodbye. Bye. 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 bye.